Welcome to this uh, next tool set. It is called 369 L2 three point trend line projection. We are going to use a balance bar early part of the week, which is a spinning top, dojis, hammers, again small, small, small body. And we are going to use a center point. It says three point. So basically there's going to be a point three. So you have to have A, B and C. So A is the starting point, B is the end point and C is the projection. You will click here, you will click here and then you'll click here, it will draw these projections. Here, we are going to use square harmonics of eight and square line to use is four. Why is that? We are trying to come up with how to have, we have dealt how we have dealt or how could we have designed this uh, dealing with this because we're dealing with only one day right now a 22 with all the tools all right so here eight and two plus two is four so that's the reason we are using eight by four because we're looking at this day is already unfolded this day is unfolded and then we know we know these harmonics for these days in advance right so we have eight and four so we are doing eight by eight cells and we're using the fourth harmonics to project from one two three four this is it see these lines they're crossing the fourth harmonic and this is flexible you can change and create any square you want as long as follow the rule a B and C so if you can see here see that so I can use any of these things all right so what are we looking for now I said something pretty critical reflection or polarity action is equal to minus reaction or we're looking at polarity yin yang so if this is the extreme buyer i'm looking for an extreme seller which is this bar that is the reason i have placed my initial setup hotspot one here and hotspot two here this is what we call as the let me just mark it for you right here this line and this line line is pointing to buyer and seller control bars you can just see it all right so this is the attempt of action reaction positive polarity negative polarity yin and yang so below so above <laughs> so anyway and then the third point is uh, the projection that is what Gan was saying square the range so we have taken this range with some logic not randomness and we are projecting it from the lowest early part of spinning top bar All right. So this A and B placement is pretty clear. Where do we start from projecting? I will always love to see three, six, and nine. So if you look at this first, second, third, four, five, six, three and six, both bars are your spinning top bars. So we'll start from here and we'll start from here and we'll just wait. And what are we expecting? Looking at my first screen, we already are aware of this level zone. As you have been following along for this day, so we already have anticipation of here and here so what am i looking for next based on this day's harmonics this is my third the higher harmonic is six one two three four five six all 
and you can see here that this beam is uh, just it market is just traveling nicely 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 and this uh, until it <laughs> reached our hot spot which we already had here from the hourly analysis and then what we get from here is this So the beauty of this is, as I said, you can change the inputs. This uh, drawing will dynamically shift. So if you know the market square, NQ is different, ES is different, YM is different, Tesla is different. So if you know the market squares, you can do this kind of phenomena using geometry. All right. How about the next day? Well, look at this uh, date, 5. So we will be dealing with 2 or 5. So market is going up, went up to 1 and second line from the top. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, fifth line from the bottom. Now you will have a hard time getting the same results unless you get into the program there's a reason for that is there's a lot more going on how this chart is squared even though we don't really need to square this unless you square in a special way you will not get uh, the same results it's quite an effort but as a trader you have this roadmap in front of you We had this low from all the analysis we did. We have this high, we have all the analysis we did. We have all these structures already in place. Now this is one of the GANs approach to, if you see his charts again, he's beaming from places. He's counting things, he's beaming from places. We already did the counter in the previous chart. We all know, we also did some other kind of beams. We did the bar counting, we did the beams. Now we are doing square the range. And there it is, my friends. All right, so let's try to change this. So I think we want four by four. See that? Let's say you want to change it to something else. Now, just knowing the square is something you need to be aware of. Let's say you want to do 12 by 4. So just with one click and punching one number, you have the dynamic square of any instrument which can be placed and then if you square the chart you don't need to square the chart if you square the chart to get better results so on this day if you look at this way uh, we did 12 why 8 plus 4 is 12 and 4 we could have done eight also, eight and four, right? So, okay. So what am I looking at? I'm looking for eight jumps. I need to see these numbers play out. If they have to play out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the, you can skin the cat with so many different ways. As long as you are in sync with the natural laws. All right, so we tackle the 820 today again yet again with one of our tools so let's move forward thank you so much